Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here, I think it's 21. So, we got us a thousand round review today. It is based on the FM 545. If you guys are curious about the hands, I would have it sky harder. So, uh, we got us a thousand round review. You guys will get footage sprinkled in. You guys have seen first shots. Um, you guys haven't had a face cam in forever. So I apologize for the crappy filings of it. But we're going to go ahead and kick this off. Um, this, as you guys can see, perfectly clear. There is no ammo. The magazines, as this is my carry gun, so the magazines are loaded but separated from the firearm. This is a FN545, one of their new production weapons. Sorry for the eye scratch, pardon me. It's a very, um, the FN545, Modern Striker Fire 45, cali 45 ACP caliber pistol. Produced by FN Firearms, this firearm has a MSRP of around $1,139. You can find them a lot cheaper than that. Uh, I found them around $900. So they can be bought for under $1,000 from a few different websites. The pistol comes with an adju with adjustable back straps. As you guys can see, I have the standard profile back strap on mine. That is due to my smaller hands. Which makes it so I can get a nice good perch on it. Four different optics mounting plates. I have the RMR plate on uh, with my Trijicon RMR Type 2. Um, not really a part of this, but love this optic. This is a very nice optic. I use it quite frequently. Um, threaded barrel for suppressor, compensator, whatever other muzzle device you might choose to have. Um, planning to get us a suppressor. Planning to get a suppressor for this later. Uh, pistol comes with a 15 round and an 18 round magazine. As I said, I'm keeping them separate. Mine did come with a 15 and an 18 round magazine. They are over there. Uh, they are loaded, so I'm not going to introduce them to this area with this weapon system. This is so I can keep this safe. Um, for anyone curious, this is a safe direction. The direction this is pointed at, as this has a, not only a, a rifle rated safe, but it also has my body armor that I wear. Um... This sports a 4.71 inch cold hammer forged barrel. Very accurate barrel for my taste. Um, now, on to the stuff y'all want to hear. Picked up, I picked my 545 up about two, three months ago, somewhere around there. Some footage seen here shows performance during testing. During range testing, the gun shoots and feels amazing with very manageable recoil and a striker fired trigger that is similar in my eyes to the 1911 trigger I'm very familiar with. My personal 545, which is this one, they did not send this. This was not provided to me. I bought this with my own money. Everything I bought with my own money. My personal 545, which I purchased on my own, had two failures in its first 100 rounds. One was a light strike and the other was a failure to attempt. Since those issues, this has had none. With it shoot, with me easily shooting out to 100 yards and hitting a car and putting rounds right where the dot is aimed at. I personally tested accuracy out to 50 yards, hitting the target 8 out of 10 times. My 545 is equipped with the Trijicon RMR 3.25 inch uh, M or 3.25 MOA dot red dot. For anyone curious, 
just to divert a little bit here. For anyone that might be curious while I'm looking, you guys are down here on my table. I'm looking up at this monitor, and then I have a script, so this way I can put that on YouTube. Anyways, this is a... Uh, anyways, but I still could not make out the silhouette outline on my homemade target due to my eyesight. Yes. So, my 8 out of 10 shots were very well placed shots, but I did not say aim for a headshot at 50 yards. I put the red dot center mask right in the center of my target and took five, and took 10 shots. Uh, but I held high where I believe the head was, which is true. I held a little higher than I normally do. Uh, and put eight rounds on target with only two of the eight falling out of the grouping. The pistol even did area of effect accuracy at 100 yards, hitting, rain, hitting the range's car-based target in the door. Putting a perfect X on the door, mind you. The pistol can be a bit heavy and most certainly can't be concealed in an outside-the-waistband holster. That is on my frame. Now, for frame of reference, 5'4". And I weigh somewhere between 130 and 145 pounds. Fluctuates. Uh, due to medical problems. Oh, so this is not concealable at all on an outside the waistband holster. I carry this in an appendix inside the waistband holster. And I carry it all day long. Um, holster. But I have been carrying it in an appendix inside the waistband holster. Made by Rounded Concealment. Shout out to them. Since I got it. And it has been unnoticed by most everyone except the people that already knew I was carrying it. It eats whatever ammo I put through it. I've put hollow points. I've put full metal jacket. I've put brass. I've put steel. I've put shitty aluminum case ammo through it. Whatever. With the original testing, that was what I had available. Um, but it will eat any ammo you put through it. The pistol can be... Uh, the only negatives I have found is I have to adjust my grip due to... Due to my smaller hand size, which results in my hand riding up higher. It rides right up in in here. Is where my hand likes to ride on this. And as you guys can see, kind of right. Let's see if I can get it for you. You guys can kind of see, and I'll upload a screenshot of it. There is a little divot in my thumb from where this is kind of just pinching. But that, that is because of how my how I like to ride up on a pistol, how I like to hold and perch up on a pistol. Um, my hand riding up higher on the frame and getting pinched in the process. Other than that, this is by far my favorite 45 I own. It's accurate, e it's accurate, easy to carry, and I am never I never have to worry about ammo issues or jams. This was my first FN firearm I have ever owned, and I promptly went and bought the 509 Compact Tactical. It currently has just finished its 100-round review fit cycle and is beginning the 1,000-round. It does have to go back to the factory due to a purchase, due to who I bought it off of having an issue um, with the optic cut. I have tested many holsters with it, including a leather IWD holster from VersaCarry, which I did not like. So I tested with my SIG SP2022, excuse me, which is my former 9mm primary care pistol, uh, and, set, and found that said, uh, said holster restricted my ability to carry my SIG in a single action mode as the trigger in that state was uncovered so that the holster, ha so that holster has not been used. I found the Kydex holster by Rounded Concealment works the best for the 545 and the 509. Now to show that to you, this is my 545 Rounded Concealment holster with the little wing or whatever the fuck you call it. I don't know. The only flaw I've found with the 545's holster is this right here. This little lip has the tendency to bite my stomach, which not really a problem when you pair it with a decent shirt, a uh, decent undershirt, and a uh, better carry belt to maneuver this. But this is a very 
very fine pistol and as you guys see in the footage this thing gets a lot of use uh i have put a thousand rounds through this already and it has continually trucked off some of the other issues i've found for myself is the suppressor height sights not something i'm super familiar with as most of my pistols do not have them but very nice gun very well shooting firearm very accurate so. you guys have enjoyed like i said this is your thousand round review for this video for this firearm there are other videos you guys are going to get to see but this is probably going to be one of the first ones you guys actually get so see you guys in the next one